And what is up, guys? Stealth here, bringing you another episode of the Minecraft server. It's been a few days since I last recorded. Um, I recorded last, I believe, on Saturday. It is now Thursday, and the only reason there was that huge break was because um, I had to find time to upload and edit and all this other stuff, which I just began to do that about last night. So this episode should go up... I'm hoping Friday night. Either Friday night or Saturday. Um, in early in the morning. And then starting Saturday, I will be able to do these daily. Anyways, you guys may be thinking, um, what's the agenda for this episode? Because all you see me right now is just mining some stone. This is just basically to kill time. <clears throat> because I have something to show you guys. As you know, was this entire... Um, series has been on so far has been the arena I am making for this Minecraft server. Um, because it's been almost a a whole week since I've recorded. Um, there's some pretty substantial changes to that, and I want to say one more thing. I am I am using Fraps for this recording. Um, so if things are a bit out of sync or you know like my voice is really loud or something, um, I will switch to Camtasia. Um, but for, just for this recording, I want to try Frap, see how well it is. But anyway, so a few days have passed since I've um, showed you guys the arena, and I have been work, and I have been working on it, and it's been taking up a lot of time, but um, not too much, maybe about two hours every day. But um, it's pretty substantial, really. And there you have it. Uh, the flame is up there temporary. I just wanted something up there. Gotta kill this intruder. Alright, so, um, yeah. So all this has been over the last couple of days. Um, I don't know the exact breakdown, but a lot of it was just clearing out the middle area. Uh, everything else was really kind of simple. And I had to move our enchantment thing over here because my thing kept breaking. Anyways, here we have it, guys. Um, this, there is going to be a domed roof on top of this. So there's not going to be a huge gap there. We got some spiral staircases going up here to nothing. But it will give you a pretty good view of the arena. Um, yeah, uh, Boomk is working on a symbol for the arena. But yeah, I mean, this, this began to look pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, you got a little pine pine farm over here. Um, but this is, yeah. It's been... Um, about uh, five, day five, six days since I last showed you guys this, and well, that's what I got done so far. The longest part of this entire thing was that floor right there, which I'm still not even. Actually, this entire inner area. Let me get down so I can show you guys. This entire inner area was actually the hardest thing to do, um, or the thing that took the longest, rather, just because there is so much to dig and everything. I'm pretty sure the last time I recorded this hole was not a hole. Pretty sure the last time I recorded, this was all flush with the ground. So, um, yeah, it was pretty substantial. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, only a few things deep. It's pretty freaking deep. And, um, I do have to take out one more layering and put obsidian here, which that's taken a long time on and of its own. Um, so I'm hoping. Ow. Uh, that's gonna be the longest thing. The thing I'm working on, I will be working on this episode, is probably. Um, gonna be the rest of this little dome half, which this gave me a bunch of freaking trouble. Um, it probably won't look the best as we're working on it, but I will try to do my best and make it look at least somewhat decent. I had to kind of like eyeball a few things and start messing with a bunch of numbers, but hopefully, I have nothing here. Awesome. So we'll go back to the storage, but yeah, guys. Um, as far as these pillars go, on the very top, right from starting this one stretching across, I'm gonna have a huge, um, like an arch. It's gonna be a very, it's gonna be a slightly slope. It's just gonna, it's just gonna pretend it's like a big, like a big sign, you know. It's a slight arch, but it's not a terribly large arch. So we will grab our glass here, which hopefully is in one of these chests. Um, where 
is it? Don't know where it is. Whatever, I think I have glass in here. Yes, I do. Okay. No clue why. No clue where I put the other pieces I've had. Maybe I used them all. I don't know. I may have used them all. Well, I think I did doing little finishing touches on the little on the top of the dome. Was there nothing else in any of these? All right, there's this one. So yeah, you get. You are very clearly uninvited. I don't care if the door is open or not. You're still uninvited. You always have to knock first. But um, anyways, today is Thursday. Go on. Actually, today is f one in the morning on Friday. And on Saturday, I gotta be waking up in about six hours to go take my ACT. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course, that probably won't be a big deal. I'm not too nervous about it. But I gotta wake up early. I have to wake up when I'm but I'm falling asleep normally, which that's not gonna be good. So I'm hoping things go fine. I'm not scared that it's gonna be difficult. I highly doubt it'll be difficult. If anything, it's just gonna be because I'm tired. I won't be able to give two shits about it. But I'm hoping that's not the case. But anyways, um, this is what the series is going to be. I never mentioned this before, but the series will be, you know, I will be recording it, but I'm not going to only do stuff as I record, like my single-player Let's Play. Um, this is basically, um, I, I rec I'm going to record this in, like, my free time, but then, um... Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I record, I base, I recorded this in the free time I have. So, I, and you guys don't make fun of me about how I'm doing this. This is how I did the other side, and then I use my silk touch to make changes. But this worked for over there, so I'm assuming it'll work here. And I have a little idea we could do for the inside, because I can't really tell how long I've been recording on this. Uh, cam that was the nice thing about using the Camtasia. I was able to see how long I would be recording. Um, I've been recording probably about five five minutes. I want I want to guess I've been recording for about five minutes. All right, so we're not gonna worry about that. We're simply gonna come over here, start bringing these things out like this. And again, there's probably a way easier way to do this, but this is how I how I did the other side, and you know it seemed to work out pretty well. Plus, I I, I don't even know if there is like a surefire way to do this perfect every time. I'm sure there is, but I don't know it, and frankly, I could I could care less about how to learn it. But um, anyways, doing these large builds like this, it it um. This is what I love about Minecraft. I love doing these really huge builds. I don't know why. Most of the time I don't really stick through um, in doing them all, but sometimes I'll just sit here and... Yeah, like, see, um, now that I have this side finished, I'm going to be carrying this out more, so... There's just a bunch of stuff I have to change as I work on this, but um, anyways... As I was saying, these if I do these really large builds, most of the time I'll kind of give up on it, but... Um, I never truly give up, if that makes sense. I'll kind of, like, get sick and tired of working on it and just quit. Um, and then sometimes I'll be like, you know what, I'm going to work on this a bit more. And end up just, you know, taking a break for, like, a couple... Um, you know, that's not going to work, is it? We need to come out like this, so... That'll be a bit better. Now we gotta do something with this. Ah. I'm wasting a lot of glass by doing this, I just realized. Alright, so there's that. And we'll keep doing this. Actually, let's do it from this side. I think that's how I did the other one. Really, all this is extra I don't want. Let's bust this one too. 
so I love doing these really large builds. Um, a sense of. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna break all this. Um, like the sense of accomplishment after you complete them is just completely worth all the pain. And, well, not, I shouldn't say pain. It's not like it's you know, I'm I'm losing blood because of this thing, but you know, it's just it's just worth all the time and every all the time and um, effort you spent putting into this, doing the exact measurements and stuff like that. It just makes it all completely worth it. Do that. The same thing here. There, there, and then here we'll just bring out like this. Uh, I have a bad feeling about what this will look like, but no matter. Let's jump down here and get all this glass. Anyways, I'm not really in the commentating mood today. <laughs> kind of been a bad day for me, you know, like one of those days where, you know, you woke up insanely tired and you just didn't feel like doing anything. That's one of those days. I think an Ender I think an Enderman jack that block. Assume I guess an Enderman jack that block. An asshole. I wanna break this up oops. I wanna break it without breaking the glass. Alright. Um Alright, yeah, I think this will work out well. It may not be exact, but um, it should be pretty close, I'm hoping at least. See, what I try to do is I try keeping the circle... Circular motion, that's what I meant to say, I don't know why I said circle. Um, I try to keep the circular motion by keeping the measurements the same. And by that I mean, it's not even circular motion. If you can see up here, this little thing, I try to keep that going and then keep it, you know, keep it spinning. Um, that's what I'm trying to do, and I've achieved it so far, but as of now, seems like I'm kind of failing. But anyways, because this is being recorded now already, I'm probably not actually going to... Alright, yeah, see, now, right, right now we have to change this up a little bit. Um, so we will actually do something like this. Alright, that'll look, that'll be fine. Um, so because I'm already recording this, and you guys are kind of seeing the process that I go through to do this, I'm not going to record me doing that side, that side, and this side. Um, and it's going to be a long fucking, it's going to be a long episode doing all the obsidian. Of course, I probably won't put that all into one episode because it would be insanely freaking boring. But nonetheless... I'm hoping to be in a mood. Well, I'm not gonna be in a mood Saturday because I'll be flipping tired from the ACT. But anyways, that's no big deal. And as far as the ACT is concerned, I really um when it damn it when it comes to tests, I really don't get nervous. You know, that's just what I that's just who I am. If there's a test, I it's kind of like all right, well. I got a test, you know, I deal with it, and it's not going to be one of those things where I'll fluster myself and, like, tell myself, well, I got to study this and this, I got to study for this long, this amount of time. I've, I've never done that in my entire life. Anyone who says you have to study to succeed, nope. Don't believe them. Um, <laughs> as, as bad as that may sound, don't believe people who say you got to study to succeed. I have not studied for a single test in my life, and I got a... Like a 3.9 GPA in Utah. Actually, I don't know what I got in Utah. I know in Arizona, I had my GPA converted to a 3.9 because they only go up to four. But anyways, um, I know people. You know, some people aren't you know gifted with brains, so they have to study. What I'm saying is that you know, if you're if you find yourself decent and something, you don't really have to. Um, you probably still should though. <laughs> That's kind of contradicting. You probably should. Um, study, even if you do know something like the back of your hand, you should still study it just because um, if you don't use the stuff you're trying to learn, well, you're going to forget about it. And if you forget about it, you know, you're... I just realized how much glass I've been wasting on these. But, um, yeah, if you... I may have to go to the bottom of this and fix it up a little bit. I'll 
fix it up later. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that now. I'll fix it when all this is done. But anyways, you know, I understand that, you know, some people, they have to study to do well. And by all means, you know, if you have to study, go ahead. Because you probably should. Because, you again, it's like, if you are, let's just say you're insanely good at, like, uh, the unit circle in pre-calc. If you don't know what that is, you'll probably learn about it in senior year or in college. But let's say, um, you know, you're a beast with the unit circle, which is, like, pot, uh, root 2 over 2 equals some number, I forget. <laughs> but, you know, it's like stuff like that, and it's like, you know, maybe an another one could be root 3 over 2. You know, something like that. And what degree in radians does that come out to? You know, if you don't use that shit, you're gonna, you're gonna completely forget about it. And, I mean, that's just how it works. You're not gonna... Unless you plan on being a math teacher or some sort of mathematician, you're gonna forget a lot of the stuff. Unless you use it constantly, which, you know... In the real world, you're not going to have to worry about using freaking radians unless you're working with circles or, you know, your math teacher, of course. And, you know, by all means, if you are a math teacher, you know, you probably should use it constantly because you need to remember that stuff. When I was taking online classes, my teacher did not teach us a single thing about the unit circle. We had, had to learn it all ourselves, and man, it freaking sucked. The unit circle was the one uh, thing in pre-calc that I actually didn't know how to do, and it was just fucking, it was just terrible, man. It just sucked so much. And it was just because I didn't have a teacher that knew how to do it. <laughs> and, you know, because of that, it's just... Because of that, I mean, you're going to have a harder time, and, you know, you have to study to keep, keep it in your head. You know, when they say, you know, if you if you don't use it, you lose it, that's basically what it is, you know. That's why, me, if I'm bored, I'll just start doing random math crap, because, you know, math's one of my favorite subjects, and it may sound like a nerd, but, you know, I will sit there and work out math problems if I'm bored, because I got nothing better to do. And it's just simply because I, math is one of my favorite subjects. It's been my favorite subject since, like, first grade. <laughs> And it's been one of those subjects that I all, all, always look forward to, and it's just, like, it's second nature to me, some of the stuff, but, I mean, some of the stuff I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, that could have been kind of bad. So, yeah, as you can see with how I'm doing this, it's going to be not very, um, sloped over there. In which case, we go back and touch it up a little bit. And this is all just going to be flat. It's not going to be very sloped over by where... Like, over here, for instance, it's kind of all blocky and stuff. In which case, we go back now and kind of touch that up. And, you know, again, there could be features. I'm not much of a builder in Minecraft. I'm more of an explorer-type person. But, um... I do do some building-esque things like this, but, you know, for me, it takes me a lot longer to do this stuff compared to some uh, some other people I know. And I know one of my friends that, um, he runs his own server. I don't know if he has a YouTuber or else I would say it. But I know one of my friends that he... Damn it. He can build things like this in just a couple hours. And, of course, I mean, like, not li literally, but, you know, where it took me at least 15 minutes to do this it could take him just a couple minutes because he just he's just you know he knows how to do it and stuff where I'm kind of like doing it my own freaking way mm. let's see how that looks from afar actually I want to fix this up because this just looks weird I think that should do it. I don't know, this part I'm kind of iffy about just because it, it'll probably look weird. Actually, I actually don't want to break those. You know, actually, it may look fine. Alright, 
right, so let's check this out from afar. Don't know what this is going to look like, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Damn it. You get away from me, Creeper. You blow my shit up too much. What? I'm just going to come kill you before you do any damage. Eh, it's not bad, really. Now, I'm not saying it's the best, but, you know, you know, it's, it's there, it's, you know, it's doable. Uh, yeah, you know, that's actually just fine. Yeah, you know, that, that actually looks really good. You know, at least for someone who's done, done it the first time. So, I don't know how long this episode is, and I don't want to stop now, but I know if it goes too long, then I will uh, kill myself. Um, so I guess I'll just stop it here. Uh, if, you know, Fraps doesn't work, I don't want to record, you know, 40 minutes of me doing something and end up trashing it all. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.